Uh, welcome to a new special kind of video where I want to do a camera comparison between those super flagship phones. I don't have too much time, especially with the daughter and yeah, uh, only night time is left over there. The, she's occupying the whole day almost. And uh, I have the brand new Huawei Pura 70 Ultra here and I want to do a camera comparison between all those super flagships but probably I won't have time to do it like in one big giant video like I usually do so I thought I put it into different segments and I start off with macro capabilities and macro comparisons so we have those super flagships here and one entry-level mid-ranger that we want to compare with so we have the Oppo Find X7 Ultra here we have the Honor Magic 6 Pro we have the Vivo X100 Pro here we have the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra we have the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5 we have the Xiaomi 14 Pro. I could use the 14 Ultra as well, but it's currently charging there in the back and I don't have much time, as I said. Uh, but basically it's using the same lens and sensor there behind it. So I think we can get away with the 14 Pro as well. And for the entry-level mid-range, with a dedicated macro camera, we have the Honor Magic 6 Lite. So let's do a comparison between those in terms of macro mode, how the macro mode activates, how what kind of different macro modes we have, like tele macro mode or only the ultra wide angle acting as macro mode, um, or only like the main sensor that kind of gets a macro mode, such things, and uh, what kind of photos in macro mode we can take of those. So let's get started. We start off with the Oppo Find X7 Ultra number one ranking camera sensor or camera system basically on my smartphone camera review. So we start off with this flower. As you can see, if I get too close, it's automatically going into macro mode and I can get even closer. And I think it's utilizing the ultra wide angle then for this kind of shot. So let's take a shot here. And this is how you can do this. You can see there's also a night shot icon there on the bottom right corner. And uh, yeah, this is what you can do. Uh, let's go and switch to the free x zoom. You can see that we still are in macro mode, so I can get a bit closer even, but you can see I'm uh, not getting into this macro kind of capabilities there. Going a bit back, it's very, very shallow, this uh, view here, and take the shot here. And now we took a shot at, at 3x. What about 6x? 6x sadly doesn't have a macro mode, uh, does it? Maybe it has one. Uh, Kind of get away with this kind of shot. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at this one here. This is the 6x shot. This is the 3x shot. And this is the ultra wide angle probably like shot. You can see not 100% sharp. Uh, let's check out another camera. So uh, now the Honor Magic 6 Pro. Of course I can get closer to get into macro mode. It, it utilizes automatic mac 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 macro mode here. And I can take this shot and hopefully it's sharp. But I have also the possibility to go to more and then choose super macro, which will use super macro. I can go to the ultra wide angle because the ultra wide angle is used for super macro here. Can get very, very close there. But is it really focusing? Is it sharp? And then 2x crop in. Yeah, let's check out. Yeah, it's a bit artificial looking. This one is also not the best. This one is looking a bit better, but also not the best. I think this is, um, yeah, not really good in terms of macro here on the Honor Magic 6 Pro.
Now the Xiaomi 14 Pro, and I'm apologizing beforehand about the bad audio quality, but it's still the Xiaomi bug, so you will have to listen to this bad, highly processed audio. Anyway, let's go a bit closer here with the normal mode. You can see it's switching to macro mode there, utilizing probably the ultra-wide angle for it. Let's take a shot. And we have also a dedicated macro mode, super macro mode, that we can activate. And if we activate it, you can see it is like going into this 3.2 times uh, tele macro. And let's try to focus on the stem there. Pretty good. So you don't have a zoom slider, but I can use my two fingers to zoom in 2x. Just have to get it right there. Yeah, these are the shots. I think the 2X looks good, one of the best. A bit grainy for sure, it's a bit dark here, but anyway. And yeah, this is one of the best shots, I think, in terms of micro photography right now. And then, yeah, this shot comparable to the Oppo, Vivo, and Honor. Pretty normal. So what do you think about the Xiaomi 14 Pro here? with the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and this is the Photo Pro app one of the last Photo Pro apps that we will have you can see I can get close 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 but not so close but here it seems to be still in focus so let's take the shot use the night mode for this what I can do also is like go into two times crop mode and you can see I can get very very close let's try to get the top there somehow in focus I think I pressed next to it. Probably cannot really get this in focus, so let's try it again. Otherwise I try to make like this stem there. And it's yeah using a night mode there for this. There's no dedicated macro mode on the one mark five, the one mark six will have it. Let's take a look here. Not too shabby, I would say. Has a lot of details there still. Shallow depth of field, of course. This one, I tried to make the top, mm, didn't work out so much. And this one, the normal one, uh, not, not the best, I would say. Mm, maybe on par with the other ones, maybe a bit worse here on the Xperia 1 Mark 5. It doesn't have a dedicated macro mode, so the only thing it can do is like really tap and with the 1x uh, to go to 2x crop in a little bit that's it in terms of uh, yeah Sony Xperia now we have the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra let's check this out here go a bit closer it goes into macro mode as you can see here you can get pretty close there let's take a shot and it also has this dedicated macro uh, option already you can use this one here which is a tele uh, macro cam. Let's try to get this there in focus. It's a bit hard to focus where I shall it over field. Okay. Can I go even 10 times? I can to go a bit back. Can I even go more? I can give it more 20 times. Does it make sense? So, wow. Let's check this out. So 20 times looks already, and it's still processing, looks already amazing. V like a microscope almost. But here, this is like the dedicated free point something. The best, it looks really the best currently. Yeah, it's over sharpened a little bit, but it's like, it's a macro. So what, what do you expect? Very shallow depth of field. Oh, this is a bit blurred. And even this, we yeah, are comparable with the other ones using the ultra wide angle. So, yeah, I think we found a winner so far, which is the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra. But what is your opinion? So, this is how we will compare them here on the computer. I will start off with uh, one on the left and then gradually take the other one, check it out, and the winner will stay there. The loser will go away, and we go through all the pictures here. First off, uh, let's start with the Honor versus the Huawei. We have more shots on the Honor there. Put the Honor on the left now. 
and we have the Huawei on the right. So first glance, without even taking too much look into it, we can see that we have a bit of a different angle of view, colors, and in terms of sharpness level, I think this is a win for the Honor slightly. Uh, let's take a look at the picture itself, f2 versus f2.2. It's 1 20th of a second versus 1 999999999 something second. Uh, we have ISO 1000 versus ISO 1600. 13 megapixels versus 12 megapixels here. And I think it is uh, both using the main camera sensor, not the ultra wide angle like I stated probably while using it because I thought it's using it, but it's not. So it's using the main camera sensor. Let's go to the next picture, which is uh, this one here. Where is this one here? That's first glance, looks pretty good on both. Is a bit unsharp. So a bit unsharp, but a little bit more details there. Can I even check out this one here, which would be a bit more cropped in. Do we get any better picture there? I don't think so. This is a very, very good picture on the Huawei here. And again, even get a bit closer and you can see, wow, so many details there. And even closer there, even though this one I think is not as beautiful as this one here, which is uh, here 10 times zoom on this. So yeah, it is beating the Honor. So Huawei won against the Honor. Now let's check the other Honor, the Magic 6 Lite. We can even compare it. I'm, I'm surprised because the Magic 6 Lite has a dedicated macro cam, but this one, yeah, it's doing good. I would even say like here, it's very shallow depth of field, of course, doing a bit better there, but this is not the dedicated macro cam. When you take a look at here, it's a 24 millimeter one. It's in main camera sensor that is like this good. This is why you have the shallow depth of field. This is the macro cam and nope. And here, yeah, it's not too bad, but if you compare it with the uh, Huawei, you can see uh, different kind of colors and a bit more details there on the Huawei still. But very, very cool that we can get this close here with the uh, zoom lens. This is not the zoom lens, just crop in of the main camera sensor. And this is the dedicated micro lens. Uh, you can see this has like um, two megapixels. So, but yeah, not much of a detail there. Forget about it. So yeah, clear win for the Huawei. Let's take the Oppo. Oppo is pretty high in my ranking, actually the top in my ranking. I think when we compare the main shot here, very comparable with each other, also in terms of colors, interestingly enough. And here I would even say, argue the Oppo is a little bit sharper there. Uh, maybe, it's just like shadow depth of field here because, hmm reasons. Um, anyway, what is the OPPO utilizing here? It's the 23 millimeter sensor, so the main camera sensor. You can get a bit closer here and it's going uh, 72 millimeter. At f1.8 should be still the main camera sensor here. Yes, it looks like to be the main camera sensor. This is the dedicated macro. Yes, this is now the uh, the free x zoom actually sensor it's a large sensor there and it looks very very good in comparison here but can it compete with this shot here yeah i think no 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 i think it cannot so yes yeah, slight no. loss for the oppo against the huawei sony now So only here on the side, and we go back to this one here. Very comparable again, but I think the pl more pleasant colors on the Sony because there's like shift of the color here that you see. It's exactly what all the flower looks like. So, so it's very accurate with the colors there. And the sharpness, uh, I like the bokeh ball, <laughs> I have to say. Mm, not so much. I think it's a bit tad sharper there on the Huawei. And uh, this is now, th I think, the 2x zoom crop in I think so it's not stating so much there not much of a difference there this one probably the best shot that I got but uh, yeah 
mm, yeah, no macro capabilities on the One Mark V, so cannot compete against uh, this year. And the next one, so it's a pretty solid win for Huawei so far. Let's check out Vivo. Vivo is usually also pretty good there. And here has a bit more contrasty look for sure. It's also a tad better colors there. It reminds me of the Sony. More accurate colors, size colors. And um, yeah, tad sharper. Yeah, I think it's a tad sharper there on this one. And this looks very pleasant already. Look at this. Not 100% in focus, but very comparable to this one here. You would even say it's better there. And get a bit closer and yeah, but now it's losing against the Huawei. Yeah, the Huawei is a bit over sharpened here there, but it also has more details there as well. You can argue about it, but it's like very, very comparable. But if you take a look at this, yes, it's the Huawei that has more points there. So Huawei still wins. Uh, we were using its 4.3x uh, telemacro, which is nice. And now we come to the Xiaomi, the last one. And the one there, I think we might see a different kind of winner now. So let's check it out. So here's the Xiaomi on the left. And yeah, it is a noisy cell. I think the colors are better. It's not so accurate as the Vivo and the uh, Sony here, though a bit better than what you see here on the Huawei. And it's a bit sharper. It's a bit noisier for sure, but it's sharper here as well. Although uh, it's even sharper than the Vivo that was well, a bit sharper than the Huawei, but here it's sharper. Let's go to the top. Let's check this out. Pretty, pretty sharp, pretty good. Very comparable, I think, on par. The only difference is the colors, but I think the colors are more uh, natural there on the Xiaomi. Can we get even closer? We can get closer, but it's getting noisier here. And here it's again. It's the Huawei that takes the lead, but I, the Xiaomi is coming very, very close. You can see it here. And uh, yes, yeah, very, very, coming very, very close to this one here in terms of detail levels. Uh, colors are more accurate on the Xiaomi as well, I would say. It's a bit of a yellow tintish on the um, Huawei. But overall, in this comparison, I think the Huawei won. But it's not by a huge margin, especially when it comes to telemacro cameras. The Vivo, the Xiaomi, that have this dedicated telemacros, they are getting very, very close. Uh, the uh, kind of close focusing champs like Honor and the Oppo are losing a bit behind there. And I think Sony and then last place probably then uh, the uh, Magic 6 Lite, because uh, Magic 6 Lite has a dedicated macro, but it's not as good. I would, could even argue that the Sony is like getting last place because it doesn't have a macro mode at all. You can just have like a close-up kind of mode and yeah, it's not true macro there. And it's not so detailed even with the crop-in of the 48 megapixel uh, sensor, main sensor there. So yeah, overall winner here, I would give it to the Huawei that has this especially like uh, very close kind of uh, focusing there as well that looks almost like this one here but it's just a bit closer focused as you can see here and this is like keep in mind this is like uh, what is it 566 millimeters uh, 566 millimeters is like 20 times zoom um, so the macro capabilities of uh, Huawei are yeah unbeatable so far uh, what, do, what do you think about my results here? Can you yeah, compete with the capabilities of uh, Huawei? And yeah, maybe in a few months or a few weeks we can check out the Xperia 1 Mark 6 as well with its new telemacro capabilities. Um, yeah, let's see how this will then perform here.